so we're here at PPIR doing a little bit of testing on Sunday morning. We're just going to kind of make sure everything's running right and feeling right. Checking to see if the aero balance feels good. So I'm excited to be in the driver's seat. It doesn't feel like a smooth, quick shift. It feels like a big. <laughs> oh my gosh! And it it felt so good in the bump. Like it felt like it was. You could actually feel the the suspension compress and grab the bump stop, and then you just feel it like. But you could feel the rate of the suspension go from one and then like immediately just settle down. steer it in the slow stuff with the throttle yeah, good. Um, so I started doing that yeah. and then I was doing it in the carousel I saw the exit and it goes, and you went, Whoa. And I went like I was rolling it and I'm like oh it's fucking rotating this is money and it went Rock! I was like shit <laughs> I was aiming at the curb too so I'm like oh I don't want to rip the freaking splitter off on these <laughs> but uh so I think that you guys were probably turning the traction control down so much because we had all this stuff going on and you felt like traction control was in the way and it really wasn't the traction control, at least is my feeling. So I feel like it would need a little more traction control. The shifts are better, but it's weird. It's like in fourth, fifth, in somewhat third, like you'll hit the button and you'll feel it go back into gear, like it grabbed the gear and then you feel the torque reduction and then the torque come back on. Okay. So, with it eating, it still feels like it's just shifting really funny. And it's almost like it makes the car pissed off and just loses time. But here's the thing that, that I don't like about that, that torque delay. And this is what happens is the car's got so much bloody power yeah. that a lot of times when you're coming on exit, you'll try and you'll try and like rotate the car and then pop a gear to like make it stick and drive off and not just blow the tires off and kick sideways. And when I was trying to do that, and short shift it, it would go and then it'd fall on its face and then hit and then kick the ass of the car out. So yeah. it was really hard to drive. 
where if it, if it would just like grab the gear, even if it was just like a little bump when it grabbed the gear, I think it would be way easier to come off a corner harder. Because I think with this much power, there's going to definitely be times where you're like in that that middle kind of arc corner where you're going to be on exit and you're going to want to just feed it a gear so that you can deck it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And right now it gets super all kinds of pissed. And the other thing I can do is just lessen the, the boost aim at lower throttle, like have it come in later so that you can use the throttle a little more and not have to worry about the boost coming in so hard. Well, it's not the... See, that's the problem is that it's really when you're like in the... like. It, if I go to second down here in this corner, yeah. and I'm coming off second and the car is way up in the revs and eating, it gets really knife edgy on the exit. Like it's, and I can imagine for sure on the mountain where you don't have run out, it's kind of like, man, I don't want to have to keep driving it because then I know I'm going to be just bumping the limiter on the exit. So I kind of wanted to just feed it that gear early, but it just, it just acted funny when I tried to feed it the gear early. Like it does that weird like lurchy yeah. torque cut. Well, hopefully we get thing. rid of that gear. Yeah, on the infield I was playing around there and I noticed if you like have it a little bit short shifted, but not much, and you get aggressive on the gas mid corner, it'll like start to rotate. Okay. And you can just like rotate the thing right around and it's like zero push. Super happy. Yeah, the okay. only problem is if you uh, aren't careful and the boost builds up and comes on, spin cycle. Uh oh. <laughs> it, could be, it could be tricky to like. We're going to try to see if we could set the TC to catch it. Yeah. So like you could roll a bunch of throttle, get some slip angle, and then it'll just hold. It'll just hold that slip angle and let it rotate. Okay. If we can make that happen, that'd be, that'd be money. <laughs>
Um, I probably couldn't be happier with how it went. Uh, Tim was ripping through little tuning tweaks. Um, I tried to only run like a lap or two at a time, and we got, I think we got a ton of progress today. Made a lot of headway. I love the way the car feels. We put Tommy in it at the end of the day. Tommy seems to be super stoked about the car, so how do you feel about it, Tim? I feel really good. So our main goal coming into today was to make sure the car was very drivable, work on all of our little nitpicky issues that we just kind of had to deal with while we were dealing with bigger issues. Um, and so yeah, we're really just housekeeping, making sure the car is, uh, is really easy to drive and predictable and that, and that it's doing everything that you guys needed to do. And, uh, and I think we're really, really close to having it exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, so just I, a tiny bit more. I agree. I think uh, tomorrow we're going to go to tech in the morning. And then come back here and hopefully just put like a fine polish on all those little issues. Yep. And then I think we're going to be ready for qualifying, which it almost sounds yeah. weird to say. That. <laughs> like, yeah. if you'd asked me a month ago, I'd be like, we're going to yeah. never be ready. Yeah. But we've all worked our butts off and got no sleep, and it's paying off. The car definitely feels like it's making progress. So I'm really looking forward to this afternoon tidying up a few little cooling issues and last minute things and uh, seeing how she does tomorrow. All right guys, you know this is the part of the video where I have to ask you to like and subscribe. So please do it, it helps us a lot.